Chromium I hydride, systematically named chromium hydride, is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula CRHN, also written as CRHN or CRH. It occurs naturally in some kinds of stars where it has been detected by its spectrum. However, molecular chromium I hydride with the formula CRH has been isolated in solid gas matrices. The molecular hydride is very reactive. As such the compound is not well characterized, although many of its properties have been calculated via computational chemistry. Molecular forms A. G. Gaydon first created CRH gas with an electric arc between chromium electrodes in a hydrogen air flame. CRH can be formed by the reaction of chromium metal vapor, created by an electrical discharge in the presence of hydrogen. The electric discharge breaks up the H2 molecules into reactive H atoms. So the reaction then proceeds as CRG plus HCRH. Another method to make CRH is to react chromium carbonyl CR -CO 6 vapor with atomic hydrogen generated by an electric discharge. Chromium hydride can also be formed by reacting chromium with methane in an electric arc. This also produces a variety of carbon and hydrogen containing chromium molecules such as CRCH3 and CRCCH. Also it is possible to trap CRH into a solid argon noble gas matrix. The solid argon does not react with CRH and allows studying reactive molecules that need to be kept apart from other molecules. The researchers that produced the trapped CRH molecules also believe that they made and trapped CRH2 molecules based on its spectrum. Properties when produced in the reaction with chromium vapor in an electric discharge, the chromium hydride gas glows with a bright bluish-green color. The ground electronic state of CRH is 6 sigma plus. The outer electronic configuration is sigma 2 sigma 1 delta 2 pi 2. The sigma 2 electron is the bonding electron with hydrogen, and the other electrons are unpaired. The only part of the molecule with nuclear spin, is the proton in the hydrogen. Hyperfine structure of the spectral lines is extremely fine. The Fermi contact term which measures the hyperfine splitting is only minus 34.43 MHz, whereas for the hydrogen atom it is 1420.4057517 MHz. The dipole moment of the molecule is 3.864 dBi. The disassociation energy required to break the molecule into two atoms is 2.118 electron volts or 1.93 electron volts. The CRH molecule is strongly paramagnetic. It can have a lifetime of over 0.1 seconds when it is trapped in 3 he cooled to 0.650 K spectrum like other molecules, the CRH molecule can store energy in several ways. Firstly, the molecule can spin with the hydrogen atom seeming to orbit the chromium atom. Secondly, it can vibrate with the two atoms bouncing towards and away from each other. Thirdly, electrons can change from one atomic orbital to another in the chromium atom. All of these can happen at the same time. All the numerous combinations of changes result in many different possible energy changes. Each of these changes will match a frequency in the electromagnetic spectrum which is absorbed. When many of these frequencies cluster together in a group, an absorption band results. An ultraviolet spectral band between 360 and 370 nanometers was discovered in 1937. A6 sigma plus X6 sigma plus transition is observed in S-type stars and sunspots and also L-type brown dwarfs. Submillimeter changes in the rotational rate of the molecule lead to a far infrared spectrum. N equals 1 0 transition has line frequencies at 5 halves 3 halves 337.259145 GHz, 5 halves 7 halves 362.617943 GHz and 362.627794 GHz, and 5 halves 5 halves 396.541818 GHz and 396.590874 GHz. N equals 2 1735 GHz, N equals 3 2 at 1.11 terahertz, N equals 4 3 at 1.47. The Kleeman and Uhler observed the infrared spectrum and were the first to note absorption bands. Occurrence in stars The existence of CRH in stars was only established in 1980 when spectral lines were identified in S type stars and sunspots. CRH was discovered in brown dwarfs in 1999. 
Along with Fay, CRH became useful in classifying L dwarfs. The CRH spectrum was identified in a large sunspot in 1976, but the lines are much less prominent than fate concentration of CRH in the L5 type of brown dwarf is 3 parts per billion compared to H, whereas the normal abundance of chromium is 0.5 parts per million compared to hydrogen. In S type stars a series of unknown lines appeared in the near infrared spectrum. They were termed the Keenan bands based on a spectrum of R sig. One of the bands with a band head at 861.11 nm was identified as due to CRH. CRH is used to classify the L-type brown dwarfs into subtypes L0 to L8. The CRH absorption band is a diagnostic feature of L-type stars. For subtypes of the L-type brown dwarfs, L5 to L8 the CRH band at 861.1 nm is more prominent than the Fe band at 869.2 nm and for L4 these two bands are equally strong. For L0 type stars, TO lines are similar in strength to CRH lines, and in L1 T0 lines are slightly weaker than CRH. L1 to L3 have Fe bands stronger than the CRH. Chromium-2 hydride A related chemical compound, is the more stable chromium-2 hydride, identified by Weltner et al. in 1979 using a solid argon matrix. This compound is susceptible to dimerization in the gas phase. The dimer is more stable than the monomer by 121 kJ mol-1. Chromium-2 hydride is the most hydrogenated, ground-state classical hydride of chromium. CRH2 is predicted to be bent, rather than linear in shape. The bond angle is 118 plus or minus 5 degrees. The stretching force constant is 1.64 mdyn, A. In an inert gas matrix atomic CR reacts with H2 to make the dihydride when it is irradiated with ultraviolet light between 320 and 380 nanometers. The CAS number is 1396681 Non-classical hydrides Other non-classical hydrides also exist. They include dihydrogen molecules as a ligand, such as CRH, H2, CRH2, H2, CRH2, H2, H2, H2. The non-classical hydrides are formed by reacting chromium I or chromium II hydride with dihydrogen gas, with optional inert gas. Chromium trihydride excimer is formed when CrH2 H2 is subjected to green or yellow light. References <references>